To the most family. high God. We here, we here, man. Yeah, we here, bro. You good? Right. We good? Oh, we good? That's right. Tech, we good. All praise to the most high God, man. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Y'all come on in the room, man. Come on in the room. We got some frankincense, myrrh burning. Um, all praise to the most high for another edition of Cure the Culture. Culture. I'm your host. I'm your host, Officer Ovadia out of Mississippi, Jackson, Mississippi camp. To my right, I got. Officer Levy. That's right. That's right. To my left, I got. Officer Baruch. To my far left, I got. I was right. That's all. T silent. T silent. By the way, I'll pray to the most high. That's uh, right. To my far right, I got Officer Zacchaeus. Officer Zacchaeus. That's the man with the plan. Off uh, to my far far right, I got Officer Yuhukanah. Quiet storm in the building, yes, brothers. Sir. All That's praises it. to the most high God. Listen, we got a fire show for you. I don't know. I just can't tell you that something significant may happen during the show. Uh, we might just go off. I don't know. Maybe too much fire. I don't. I don't know. So uh, the tech team has been doing a, a great job getting this thing together. So we going to, hey, man, listen, we're going to jump right on into this thing, bro. Pull up the thumbnail. Let's look at the thumbnail. Let's look at, let's see what's going on. I'm glad to be back in the saddle, man. I'll pray to the most high. I'll pray to the most high. Rose. That's right. I'm going to read it myself. Can I do that? Yeah, I can do that. Rose Colored Captivity. Now, for a lot of you younger generation may not know what that means, but if you could see, the brother got on some shades and they rose colored, supposedly. But anyway, when he's looking through the glasses, you see a, a white a house with a white picket fence, the so-called American dream. They got a flag flying on the, on the house. This is a, this is a, a Judah couple, right? And they got a flag flying and they American society. Now that's looking through the glass. Now one side look like it's busted out and he's seeing the real deal. So all praise to the most high, that's how kind of how the, all of us woke up. Cause you know, I initially wanted a, you know, a family with a, with a house, with a white picket fence. Is that kind of the American dream? That's what it is. That's what yes, it is, yeah. Message. But we find out that we don't get the American dream we get something else. But anyway, I, I digress. We're not going to go into that now. we got to go to the uh, merch room. We will in the minute. Let's get our first scripture, Jeremiah 33. Let's read that, bro. Nope. Let's read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 33, verse 6. Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them, and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. So we try to get that cure. we trying to get that cure. We know that cure comes from God's word, comes from God's law, comes from uh, us keeping the Most High's commandments. And him blessing us, and we coming back to the nation of Israel. All praise to the Most High. Shout out to leadership for um, bringing out this truth. For uh, right. helping us open our eyes up so we can come back and keep God's laws and the faith of Christ. So all praise to the Most High. Anyone y'all got anything on that before we move forward? No, sir. All praise. All praise to the Most High God. Okay, man. Listen, let's go, man. Let's uh, let's jump into the emergency room real fast. We're going to jump on into the emergency room. Let's go. <laughs> All praise. We back. We back. We back. Listen, 
We're going to jump right on to this thing. Can y'all hear me? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, I'll pray to the most high. I ain't heard nothing. I couldn't hear the emergency room. Sirens was hollering for a little while. And I don't know. Brother might have jumped out the. After this lick he took, he might have jumped out the ambulance. <laughs> uh, he should have. He should have. He should have ducked. He should have been bobbing and weaving. What he should have done. But anyway, we're gonna pull this up. Let's pull this video up. Let's see. Let's watch this video. We need to get his brother and his sister some help, man. Play that thing, man. <laughs> Oh man! Now that's, wow! <laughs> listen, <laughs> that song. What name that song? Who sang that song? Mary J. Blige. Mary J. Blige. Blige. Now we're in the emergency room. And let's talk about the lyrics of that song for a minute. Do you remember the lyrics of that song? Awesome, bro. Break my heart, but it, some, no, go play it again. I can't. I and it's song called Mister Wrong or something. Yeah, like Mister Wrong. Mr. That's Wrong. it. That's it. Hey, I want y'all to pull me up the lyrics from that song, <laughs> <No>. Mister Wrong, <laughs> Mister Wrong, because this this is. This is the emergency room. We got to get these folks some help. Right. And this song is called Mr. Wrong. Yeah. What is what is that? Now, I heard a brother doing a class uh, earlier today. It was called Delilah. What was it called? What was the name Devilish of the class? Devilish Delilah and the Breaking of the Simp Mind. De Devilish Delilah? Deadly Delilah. Deadly, Deadly Delilah. Delilah. Oh, okay. And the wrecking of the simp mind. Okay, all right. Do we have the lyrics to the song? Pull the lyrics up. Let's read these lyrics. Pull them up. Pull them lyrics up. Mr. Wrong. Pull them up. Pull them up so we can see them. We'll go down them. All right. Song by Mary J. Blige. All right. Somebody read them lyrics. Don't it seem like, like I'm always there when it matters, but missing most of the other time, a terrible pattern. The rewards I see from working made me an, an addict. There's way more people that want it than people that have it. I don't get it. I would hate to think I tricked them. They fall victim to my system. Guess I should know how to pick them. And I'm always here, and I'm always her regret. Yeah, I'm always her regret, and I always make it harder on whoever's coming next. Damn! She make it harder on whoever's coming next? Because she done, she done jacked the man mind up, so that man is... He gonna be looking at this woman crazy now, coach. But anyway, go ahead. It goes up and down. It's just up and down. She's crying now, but she'll laugh again. Cause we on this rise, and she here, and she here with us. An expensive. You wanna see it? Hold on, hold on. I, I can't see what you said. A what? An expensive. I can see it. Say it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> just keeps happening. She loves it. She stares at me like, who does this? And we hold hands while I pray that she's not the type to hold. Where you breath. at? Where you at? At the bottom, we hit the very last line. Yeah, okay, okay, go the ahead. Top you mean to start back at? Uh, no, no, let's go. Just keep going. Yes, I'm wrong. Bad boys ain't no good. Bad boys ain't no good. Good boys ain't no fun. But good boys ain't no fun. Lord knows that I should run off when the right one, with the right one. It's this next part you want. Okay, this is okay. We're getting to it now. Go ahead. Read it. Okay. Me and Mr. Wrong getting along so good, so good, even though he <laughs> breaks my heart so bad, so bad. We got a special thing going on. Wow! We, we got a special thing going on. Me, me and Mr. Wrong, Mr. Wrong, even if I tried, no, I never could. Give him up because he loves like that. Because his love's like that. Ain't no way that I'm moving on. Oh, I love uh, Mr. Wrong. Wow! Wow! Wow. Tell, play the video, man. Play the video. So that's the song. That's basically the song that they playing during this video. Play the video again. Because this, I don't know. This must be Mr. Wright she punches in. <laughs> play the video. Oh. Man, listen. I ain't got nothing to say. It's on y'all. Come on now, dog. I have no I'm words. Just, this is crazy. I'm just, I'm just looking at. Look how she shut up on. Like, put it back up, and look how she. You know what I'm saying? She kind of got herself set. She put yeah. her left arm on his right. chest. Well, go back to it. Up oh, right there. She, she knew what she was gonna do. She, yeah. Man, she pushed off with her right foot. Yeah. I mean, this is a, this is a classic boxing move. Ain't else is a kid? Yeah, and then she backed away, and that other brother stepped in between. Cause she, cause she knew what was coming, right? Uh -huh. Absolutely. Damn. See, now, 
I'm going to tell y'all something. You got to be some kind of serious simp for your woman to hit you like that. If like that, that was his woman. I don't know who, who this was. It must have been Mr. Wrong. I don't know. Go, go ahead, Dallas. What I go? Hey, yeah, give me give me Psalm one forty and one, cause a lot of times brothers be getting with these sisters and they know that they are violent. You understand that? You got to pray. So you got this was your prayer to the Lord. Got to be to get you away from that woman, that violent woman. Read that. The Book of Psalms, chapter one forty, verse one. Read it out. Deliver me, O Lord. From the evil man. Deliver me, O oh Lord, from the evil man. We know this is going into Esau. But at the same time, the, the Edomite mindset is within our sisters. There's no reason for a daughter of Sarah, or what should be a daughter of Sarah, to be attacking Mr. Wrong or Mr. I don't know who he was. He might have been Mr. Right. And that might be Mr. Wrong right there with the blue shirt. I don't know. I don't know the full context of it. But whoever that was got his socks knocked off. Play that one more time. Read that one more time, I mean. Deliver me, O oh Lord, from the evil man. Uh huh. Preserve me from the violent man. The Bible say, preserve me from the violent man. Look at that sister. She's violent. Look at her. Pull her back up. Look at her face. Just look at her countenance. Look at this. Look at this. I don't know what they arguing about. It could be anything. Really don't even matter. But this is right. This is the type of. This is the reason why our people need a cure. This should not be going on between an Israelite man and an Israelite woman. Just go ahead and finish it out. Let him. Ko, look at them glasses. They shattered. God damn. You know what I'm saying? And I know it's, it's 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 funny, but it's not funny. You see what I'm saying? Because this this is, you know what I'm saying? This is evil right here. This should not be. Deliver me from the violent man or woman. I'll pray to the most high. And, and let me get Proverbs 6, uh, start at verse uh, 23. 23. Because we, we, a lot of times we use this for a precept, you know, of, of what the commandment is and what the lamp is, what the light is. So read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verse 23. Read it out. For the commandment is a lamp. Hold up. Start at verse 20. Start at verse 20. Verse 20. My son, keep thy father's commandment. Uh huh. And forsake not the law of thy mother. Say, keep thy father's commandment and forsake not the law of thy mother. Keep reading. Bind them continually upon thine heart. Your heart is your mind. You got to bind these things continually on your mind. Like we read in, uh, what is it, Joshua 1 and 8, meditate on these things daily. You know, that's why you're going to have good success by you meditating because that's on the forefront of your mind. That's binding them on your heart. On your mind. Keep reading. And tie them about thy neck. Tie them about thy neck. I think you can read about this and someone do the run where it talks about on, on the front list of your whatever. Uh, offer it to the most high. Keep reading. Verse 22. When thou goest, it shall lead thee. Uh-huh. When thou sleepest, it shall keep thee. This is God's laws. These are God's laws, statutes, and commandments. It says when thou goest, it shall lead thee. It's going to tell you which way to go. It's going gonna, it's gonna to walk before you. And it said, then it was, when thou sleep is what? It shall keep thee. It's going to keep you while you sleep. Keep reading. And when thou awakest, it shall talk with thee. And when you awake, it's going to talk with you. Meaning, oh, yeah, I, you, you know these laws is constantly popping your mind time you wake up of keeping God's commandments in the faith of Christ. This is, a, this is on your mind all the time because this is what you're feeding yourself. This is what you're feeding yourself constantly because you meditate. Keep reading. For the commandment is a lamp. The commandment is a what? A lamp. So that's how it's going to lead you. It's a, it's a lamp. You can see with this lamp. You can you can actually put a light on this lamp. Well, keep reading. And the law is light. The law is what? Light. Read. And reproofs of instruction are the way of life. So when these laws, statutes, and commandments reprove us and correct us, and that becomes our way of life when we lay down, when we walk, whatever we do, these laws is constantly in the forefront of our mind. That's right. Guess what they're going to do? Keep reading. To keep thee from the evil woman. To do what? To keep thee from the evil woman. He was up there talking to that woman, probably pleading his case. And she was she was saying, it was, I don't know what was going on, but she lined the brother up and gave him a ooh-wee from the past. <laughs> keep reading. From the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman. Uh-huh. Lust not after her beauty See, in thine heart. This is what the law is going to do for you is to keep you from the strange woman. And, and and what's that last one? Lust what? Lust not after her beauty in thine heart. Lust not after her beauty in your heart. Don't be wanting so bad. You're going to take a lick like that? Keep reading. Neither let her take thee with her eyelids. Uh-huh. For by, the mean, for by means of a horse woman. Uh, by means of a horse woman. Keep reading. A man is brought to a piece of bread. A what? A man is brought to a piece of bread. Bro, you coming down to a piece of bread. That's all you got left. <laughs> Ain't no more ramen noodles. You down. Ain't no beans and bologna. You down to a piece of bread. Damn it, boy. That's all I got, man. Hey, the scripture. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, y'all help me out. Many have lost their wits. What's that? Uh, Out of their wits and Idris. Yeah, all oh, crazy. 
because the scripture tells a many that lost their wits behind a woman. And this brother lost his damn mind to sit there and, and, and I don't know what he did. I don't know what's going on. But whatever done happened, he, he, to let her do that, man, and Bruh. I'm not saying he let her do it. She, I'm not saying he let her she, do it. She did him like did like, take that, take that, right. take but that. that. But that, I mean, that just ain't right. And now, um, let me let me give you warning, you, uh, a warning to you sisters. <laughs> hey, don't fall, don't 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 think that everybody is going. You don't know what happened to her after this video. Message. Huh? You don't know what that man came and did to her later on. And many of our sisters think that's not an isolated incident. There are plenty right. of videos going around where women putting their hands on men, thinking it's okay. You got that? Yes. Sir. Read it. The book of First Ezra, chapter 4, verse 26. Read it out. Yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. So see, and, and there you go. Many of you men have lost your damn mind for women and became simps. I love her, man. I love her, man. <laughs> exactly. Became simps for these women and allowing them to punch you in your face and put their hands on you. Well, I'm going to tell you what you do. Call the police on her butt. Message. Some of y'all thought I was going to say knock the hell out of her, but no. Call the law on her. Fire charges. Because if you put your hands on her, you're going to be the one going to jail. That's right. So take that dose of cure. And call the law. Put the police on your side. Because you gonna be you the one gonna be needing bail money if you if you put your hands on. And now hold on, hey, let's get uh Sirach uh twenty six and uh, I think that's twenty five on one. A shameless woman. This is a shameless woman. Don't be sister, don't be that woman. There ain't nothing cute, cool or uh, about this. Yeah, that was very masculine what she did too. Yeah. Man. That was that was a masculine yeah. move. I mean she man, that she took the knocked the socks off that dude. You remember that, that uh class Deacon Yashua did where he broke down like microchemerism and all the different where he speaks about how when women have sexual other you know various sexual partners. Right. Those that that it's DNA, the spirits from, 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 that, from that other man. From the other man. She reached back and got that other man's <laughs> DNA yeah. and knocked the hell out that man. That was Daquan right Damn. there. <laughs> Damn. That was Daquan that was uh, that him in the mouth like that. That para bonding. Mm -hmm. was yep. She had yeah. no kind of bonding in her. <laughs> she bonded her fist to his face. Hey, hey read that, that right there. Watch the others. The Book of Sirach, chapter 26, verse 25. Read it out. A shameless woman. Shall be counted as a dog. Man, if you run around doing this, you a shameless woman. Message. You that dog ass. <sighs> yeah. I ain't gonna say it. But yeah, putting your hands on a brother like that. You yeah, yeah. And I don't we don't know what that what happened, but I think the whole gist of it was just to send that interaction of of her and him what saying something, then they had that song playing Mr. Wrong or whatever. Mm -hmm. It was just a whole ball of just garbage. And um, she dressed all out of order. Uh, so I'll pray to the most high, man. That's, that's crazy. I mean, and, and, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. I would say we, we've seen incidents personally right. where brothers fell for that okie doke. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, it, it's, it's crazy. So that goes back, that goes back to, uh, you know, not being in the scriptures. Now, I heard you say a minute ago, uh, a lot of y'all think I thought I was going to say don't go to jail, right? Now, obviously, this brother... Is dealing with this sister, but I'm looking in, into the, the, the uh, us who know the truth. Uh, we got to be careful how we, you know, the scriptures tell us to prove a friend. So we got to prove that friend. We got to know who we're dealing with. We got to take time to prove that friend, or you will end up with a woman like this. Message. You, you can, or a man, you can end up with that for not proving. But now, obviously, he was not, if he's dealing with a woman like that, then obviously he's not dealing with these scriptures. Uh, so in that case, it might have been some jail time for me. I'm, a, I'm talking about me. <laughs> I'm talking about me. So what they say when they say they ask the question on that? They say what y'all doing? You finna explain what you what you would do? Well, I'm just saying. I, I mean, I would have had to do it. why because if if I'm dealing with a woman like that, obviously I'm like that. God, you know what I'm so so you out there like that? It, right. it, it, it's on. It's, it's, it's on. on. It's on. It's on. There was no other way to go. Yeah, right. I'll no prove. other way to go, and, and could nothing stop me from getting to her behind that. Not anything. Thank you, know you Lord, you repeat. We ain't saying beat your woman. We ain't saying, we ain't slaying, we ain't saying. Right. Slap. 
Yeah, that's don't, the one. Yeah, don't beat your woman. Don't back him. Man, they had they had a, they had a song on a movie called Hustling Flow. Yeah. <laughs> you remember, y'all remember the name yeah. of that song? Yes, sir. Whoop yeah. yeah. that, that trick. They, 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 yeah. were, they were doing stuff whoop like that, that trick. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yes. But right. anyway. So, yeah, I, what I am saying, though, is we got to repent. Get, get, let's get Proverbs right quick, 21 and 9. We got to repent and make sure we don't. I was okay. case. A lot of times, and I'm going to tell you this about these sisters. A lot of times, they know who to punch. Right. Just like you, just like you look at uh, Will Smith went up there right. and slapped Chris Rock. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He didn't go up there and slap you know uh, Aaron Spears or somebody like that. Denzel you know, Washington. so Denzel, yeah. somebody that he know that's gonna put up a fight. Right. Yeah. Same thing with this woman here. Yeah. And she, when she moved back, it wasn't no no big move back because she probably had done done this before. Mm-hmm. Obviously. Yeah. Well, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Let's get that script right quick. The Book of Proverbs, chapter twenty one, verse nine. Bring it out. It is better to dwell in the corner of the housetop. Mm-hmm. Then with a brawling woman in a wide house. So that's what you're going to wind up with. You're going to wind up with a, a brawling woman in your household when you don't do the pro- go through the proving process and learn these women. And the same thing for the woman. That's why these, these scriptures are so important. we got to do this. Or we're going to end up in a situation like that. And mm-hmm. we might end up in jail. Because, you know, even in the truth, that's a hard one to take right there. <laughs> that's a hard one to take right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it. Yeah, yeah, but Run. go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say, and, and even like in that situation, they out in public. We don't know, but it's it's videos where you 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 know that these people are in relationships. You know that this that this is husband and wife, and they because they at home, and you see the kids in the background and everything, and it's stuff like that taking place. Right. So I, they you might man, know you, the, you're the, correct. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. The black woman sitting back thinking, well, what did he do to yeah. make her punch him? Right. Did he cheat on her? Did he call her a B word? What did he do? Come on now, dog. Maybe he ain't do nothing. Maybe that. Maybe she just a mean old hag. Maybe right. that. I don't know. I don't know. We can't just always say, well, the man, the man fault. Let's put it in perspective. We don't know what happened. We just saying a woman rear back and throw a, throw a right hook. She really, you know, that's a masculine trait. That, right. that's, that, that ain't lady like. Right. That's and it don't really hook. matter what was going on. You know what I mean? Cause yeah. his countenance didn't, didn't, Bruh. didn't, it didn't look like he was any he, way. He wasn't in, aggressive. In any form. He wasn't aggressive. No. Yeah, he wasn't aggressive. No. Bruh, and she knew that. Like she she almost knocked him out. Right. Yeah. And his glasses, you know, I, I wear glasses sometimes. Right. He couldn't see. His glasses went yeah. over his he, head. He yeah, couldn't so see did. no more. He was blinded. Let's right. watch the video. Get some, <laughs> yeah. Watch the video again. I, I, I just want to. Discombobulated. Yes. 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 He was like, "What the hell happened?" I think she busted something. You can't see it, but I think she busted something. Uh, yeah. A lip, a nose, or something. Too. Let, let's watch it. I want y'all to slow it down. Can y'all do it in slow motion? Can y'all play this video in slow motion? Uh, let's let's analyze this thing one more time. Slow motion. Come on. All right, all right. She finna get him. She put her hand on him, lined him up. She hit him. His head went back. He got whiplash right now. <laughs> That's a Mike Tyson move, bro. Right. Mm-hmm. Bro, she put everything she can had into it. She she really hated this dude. His glasses go off. She hit him somewhere around the nose. Now he can't see anyway. I'm surprised he didn't go out. She held on to him. Look at she like she hold on to him so he don't fall back. Now go all the way through it. Go all the way through it. See that he was gone. He had to step back. He was knocked out. Go ahead, I'll I, right. I just want to get this to go with this because this is yeah. It's rock twenty five twenty three. Read that. Talking about a wicked woman. But while we analyze the video, just going right along with what you were showing, uh, also for down. Because look at this. The Book of Sirach, chapter 25, verse 23. And, and show, show the uh, video on the screen. You can read. A wicked woman, a bait of the courage, uh-huh. make of a heavy countenance, and a wounded heart. And a wounded heart. Come on. A woman that will not comfort her husband in distress. Apparently, we can see, without words, we can see that this brother is in distress. This is a distressing situation, right? Read. Make a weak hand uh-huh. and feeble knee. What kind of knees? Feeble knee. Play it. Pause. Well, his knee's gone, bro. Pause right there. Oh. Feeble knees. I'm telling you, you're dealing with these man, sisters I, man, like... Man, listen. I, I, you, you, go ahead, officer. Go nah, ahead, officer. Nah, nah, you, nah. I'm just saying, like, these sisters, they, our, our sisters really do have that spirit on them where they, they violent like that. And we get into these positions with them, like you were saying, like, we got to understand who we're dealing with. And chances are, I think he knew she was, she, he knows she liked that. Bruh. Yeah. I don't think he was going to run back on her no more. He need to pick up something in his hands and get out the hub, bro, because uh, he, he was down. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I remember growing up, I had this, I got I to gotta tell y'all a story. 
I had a cousin named Annie Ruth. She was she was about officer, she was about officer Yahukanan size, and she had a husband. She, I'm serious. She was about officer Yahukanan size. Come on, man. Come on. This this, this is not sad. It's not sad. This is this is this is horrible. And she had a husband, and it's probably like officer Baraka size. He was a short dude, little bitty dude. They got into it. He waited till she turned her back and hit her in the back of the head hard as he could. And the reason he stole on her is because she <laughs> normally whooped his ass. Hey, damn. Every, every function that we get together, every um, house party, every um, family reunion, they always get into it, and he, she whooped his ass. So they had got into it this time. He waited till she turned her back and hit her in the back of the head. Man, listen, she chunked the dude down and, and, and straddled him, got on top, and put her knees on his hands and beat the shit out of him. I'm telling you, bro. So I know this this is the this is this is the same spirit that's on this woman. So so he went on and got his lick in first. He got it in first because he knew he had no win. Let, let, me, let me go ahead and get this out of the way. Right. <laughs> and it rule. Oh man. But anyway, I'll play it to the most side. I, I digress. Uh y'all got anything else? Because I got another somebody we need to bring into the emergency room. If we don't have anything else on this couple, right? Hey, let me let me say go something. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. If you look, okay, now you see it's a dude behind her in the red, in the red shirt. What you see, he stepped forward, he moved for she knew she had people with her. She was not by herself. Right. Cause you see how the dude in the blue, he's he stepped stepped up. Yep. Now I don't know if that was just reaction or what, but it's a dude in the red shirt behind him that moves up. This this woman wasn't by herself. Right. Look at all their shoes. They the white flip flop game. <laughs> is there a woman in the back too? It's a, yeah. You see a black woman in the back with her hand up like this. Exactly. Like you better not touch her. Yeah, it's a whole white flip flop game. White flip flop. And the guy. dude that got punched, he had on black shoes. I think it was a wow! game. It was a gang thing. <laughs> it was a gang. Was a gang <laughs> no, but she wasn't by herself. And and a lot of times these women they get emboldened because they run they with friends and family. Mm -hmm. But sisters, don't fall for that, man. You're going to get yourself hurt. I remember his name. His name was Lil Tony. Annie Ruth and Lil Tony. That's his name. Lil Tony stole on Annie Ruth, <laughs> hit in the back of her head, and yeah. she beat the brakes off of her, man. I'll I never forget that. I was I was tarnished as a child seeing that go yeah. on, bro. Damn. It's crazy. But I, Hey, bring up, bring up the other one, man. I got another dude, man. These, these people, maybe they're going to be all right. We got this. Now I want, listen, this is going to be kind of crazy. It's not what they're talking about necessarily. It's about their attire. It's about their attire. Um, I think a lot of times we see in this world we living in, um, and this kind of going into what the show is about, our people are comfortable here. They're comfortable. Just look at how they're sitting and how they relax. They're comfortable. And look at the clothes. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This, Y'all know these people. Did you ever get tired of hearing people say, man, Cam, stop dressing. Man, you dressing like an auntie. You dressing all them women clothes. Hold them up, hold up, right there, right there. So he's saying, and this, how, how big this man is? He's six, six, three, six, four. Shannon Sharp is a big man. Big man. Yeah. Big man. You see what he got on? Yeah. Was them Capris? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Them, 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 them little brother exactly Jacob pays. Like, they're like jacket sleeve. They got cuffs on the end. Yeah. Man, this is this is crazy. This big black buck is dressing like this right here. But anyway, he talking to this other guy about said, "Remind him, go from start from the beginning. Let's let's listen from the beginning." Did you ever get tired of hearing people say, "Man, Cam, stop dressing. Man, you dressing like an auntie. You dressing all them women clothes, them tight clothes." Did you ever get tired? Do you get tired of hearing that? Cause you still here to this day. Bring your girl around me. <laughs> And we will figure all that out. <laughs> we'll figure out well about you. Hey, hey man, listen. You don't don't think I got the juice. She get the smelling these dreads and smelling that aura and you know smelling that ghost. Get to seeing like, oh man, I like what you did with that. You could tie your bow tie. Is that a clip on? Oh baby, I really tie bow tie. Like, oh pocket square. How hold hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Now, also the kids. What kind of posture is this man making? Now he talking about right. women, but at the same time, what kind of posture is this? Well, he's sitting like a woman. <laughs> you see, and that, that's the thing. That's our men, and 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 I, I want to run the scripture out. I want to get First Corinthians chapter six and verse nine because we got to understand that. Let's read the scripture. We're gonna talk about it. You can leave it up there. Leave that picture up there because I need this, this to resonate. Read that. The book of First Corinthians chapter six, verse nine. Uh -huh. Read it out. Know ye not 
that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So we must understand that the scripture said the unrighteous. So these list of things that it's about to uh, roll out is the unrighteous. Keep reading. Be not deceived. Be not deceived. Don't be fooled. Don't be tricked. Don't be made ran amok, led astray. Be not deceived. What? Neither fornicators. So fornicators is number one on the list. Fornicators. All right. We know what fornication is. That's any kind of um, illicit sexual activity uh, during marriage, marriage or before marriage. It don't matter. Fornication covers a multitude of, of things. Um, when you read Leviticus 18, it's a whole devil stuff going into fornication. So we understand that. So fornication. Go ahead. No idolatry. Idolatry. When you deal with idolatry, it's, it's a whole petrol thing going into idolatry. Go ahead. No adulterers. Adultery. So we're talking about adultery now. Uh, that That's kind of narrowing down the fornication. Keep reading. No effeminate. Now, the scripture said that unrighteousness shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Now it says effeminate. Can you give me a definition of effeminate? Effeminate. Um, we need a definition of this because let's see we, what this is because we need to know if we can't get the kingdom because of men effeminate, we need to know what that word is. What does that mean to be effeminate? Now, I have uh, thoughts in my mind. Pull it up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Pull it up. Pull it up. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> uh, pull it up. Let's read, let's read what effeminate is. Can you read that? Yes, sir. Effeminate, with reference to a man having characteristics and ways of behaving traditionally associated with women and Regarded as inappropriate for a man. So, that's effeminate. The scripture said that you're not going to get the kingdom if you are effeminate. I'm going to tell you something, too. Brothers, that seven, guess what that is? Effeminate. 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 Now, please, go, back to the, go back to the scripture, 1 Corinthians 6 and 9, because there's a bunch of them on there. It's a bunch of them on there. It's a bunch on that list that we were just talking about. Effeminate just be having to be the one that we want at that particular time. Um, just showing. Now pull the picture back up of the brother in his posture. There you go. Pull that back up. Then we're going to read the scripture again. It's cold in here, ain't it? Yes. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Read that. No, ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Uh huh. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate. Nor effeminate. No abusers of themselves with mankind. Now, when we go to talking about abusers of themselves with mankind, we know what that is. That's you know, you abusing yourself. Uh, he, either way, either or, whether you're pitching or catching, you're abusing yourself. Keep reading. Nor thieves. Uh, nor thieves. That's the same thing. They not, can't get the kingdom. Nor covetous. Covetous can't get the kingdom. Co and the covetousness, given that in um, uh, Colossians 3 and 5, Colossians 3 and 5, then uh, Ephesians 5 and 5. Colossians 3 and 5. Read that. Because yes. it said covetousness. The book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 5. Uh -huh. Mortify therefore your members uh -huh. which are upon the earth. Uh -huh. Fornication. Fornication. Uncleanness. Uncleanness. Inordinate affection. Inordinate affection. Evil concupiscence. Uh -huh. And covetousness uh -huh. which is idolatry. So covetousness is what? Idolatry. Idolatry. Now we read in the list of our First Corinthians six and nine, idolatry was already on the list. It was like like one or two. Then we jumped down to covetousness. So when you're dealing with covetousness, you're dealing with idolatry. Go to Ephesians five and five. The book of Ephesians chapter five verse five. Uh -huh. For this ye know that no whoremonger, no whoremonger, no unclean person. You notice how these sexual sins kind of all dive back to covetousness, and then it's gonna go back to. Idolatry. That's what it is. Keep reading. No covetous man. No covetous man. Who is an idolater? If you covetous, you are idolater. This all go back to sexual sin. This all go back to to uh, fornication. That was the heading on First Corinthians six and nine. Go back to First Corinthians six and nine. Yes. I, I, and why you stop right there? Play the video because I, I want I want to get through this. And I'm gonna let y'all have that. It's, Kid. What you doing with that? How you got a dog on wallet chain, a, a, a pocket watch, like all these different details? It's like, man, I really study fashion. Right. I grew up in the church. 
So, oh, so, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. You, you see where this all stems from? There we go. You see where this all stems from? There you go. Where's it stemming from? The Christian church. Right. That's said, why he got. What's, what, what's that man, uh, Dr. Seuss? Mm, that cat him? in the hat. Cat in the hat. Is that kind of hat he got on? Cam in the hat, yes, that's him. Damn. Wow. But anyway, um, he, this is all stemming from Christianity. This all this idolatry, this fornication, all stem from him being raised in the Christian church. And like Shannon Sharp, he got on the same thing. He just ain't got no socks on. Uh, he, he he got his naked legs showing. So he got socks on. But anyway, play the video out. Then we're gonna read the scripture. You know, the Bible say, come as you are. Hold up. Hey, oh. hey, 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 hey listen. Hey, I know y'all. Let's go ahead, Officer Cass. I'm going to fall back for a minute. Hell no. You got something you want to say? Y'all get him for a while, I, bro. I can't believe Shannon Sharp is sitting there saying, and they still talk about these type of things to this day. Mm. He can't understand why. The, these people think that they are blameless because of their first impressions. You know, he was a, a you know big football player after, you know, manly, uh, you know, appear to be manly, mm -hmm. you know, but now that he's retired, he thinks that he can go and, and do these, have these effeminate ways and still be respected, not in the sight of God. He thinks he's, bl you're not blameless because you set a first impression and now you want to go and just do whatever. And all this stuff is done actually really to be paid. You, you're being paid to do this. You'll never bring that out. But we understand you're being paid to do these type of things. But you let me get a script. Let me get uh let me get first Thessalonians 5 and 22. 5 and 22. The book of First Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 22. Read it out. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Now this is the Bible. It says, abstain from all appearance of evil. So that appears to be evil for those who read the scriptures. Mm -hmm. So obviously they're not reading the scriptures because the other brother said, uh, what do you say? The, come as you, the Bible, say, come the as Bible you are. says, come as you are. I've never seen that in the Bible. Yeah, sure. yeah, uh, <laughs> the Bible don't say, as, as, as a matter of fact, the, the Bible has a, a dress code, mm -hmm. but our people don't know that. And then they want to try to quote the Bible. But watch this, read it. They think they're blameless, but go right here, read on. I'll read it again. Yeah, no, read the next scripture. Yes, verse 23. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. Uh -huh. And I pray God, your whole spirit, and soul and body be preserved blameless uh -huh. unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So this is how you this is how you remain blameless in the sight of God by abstaining from all appearance of evil. But we don't know this because we when when we listen to our pastors in these fake churches, they tell us come as you are, mm -hmm. and then we go out there and, and do whatever we want to do. Get worse. Yes, sir. This? Can we touch seven nine one eight real quick? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Because I assume that. Uh, this is what the black woman we uh, get to arguing with us on the street about uh, women's pants. It looked like them brothers got on uh, women's pants. Women's pants. <laughs> but anyway, Zephaniah <laughs> wanted that. Just to, on that same point that uh, Officer K was bringing out. Read that. You said Zephaniah? Yep. Yes. Book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, verse 8. Uh -huh. Read it out. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. That I will punish the princes uh -huh. and the king's children uh -huh. and all such as are clothed <laughs> with strange apparel. Pull them back up. Pull the picture of uh, Cam Newton back up. Just pull that, uh, you know, what, yeah, pull it, yeah, pull them back up. Read one more time. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice uh -huh. that I will punish the princes and the king's children uh -huh. and all such as are clothed. With strange apparel. Cam Newton, that's the, he, he, he wanted the princes. Yep. He wanted the king's children. God says he's going to punish those of our people that when he returns, when Christ returns, and see them in that strange apparel, you done. Man. And you may think, oh, that's just the Old Testament. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 31. Because he said he studies fashion, right? Well, watch this. I'm telling you, you cannot get away from you cannot circumvent the Bible for your whatever misconstrued Christian understanding you have. The Bible don't say come as you are, because what that does is it teaches our people to stay as they are and eventually degradate even worse. We get get worse and worse and worse until now you got like you read it wisdom of Solomon 14. We talk about changing of kind. All of those different things are products of idolatry. A white man Jesus or Caesar Bosier, idolatry. Read first Corinthians 7 31. Book of First Corinthians, chapter seven, verse thirty-one. Uh -huh. Read it out. And they that use this word, they that use this word, come on, as not abusing. That's not what abusing it. These are brothers who abuse this word. They got a little status. They got a little money. They got a little clout, and they take it 
They take it through the roof. Now his pants look like they, they could fit my son. He ain't but two years old. He ain't two yet. Wow! You see what I'm saying? Read that one more time. And they that use this world uh-huh. as not abusing What's going to happen? For the fashion of this world. The what? The fashion. Did he say he studied fashion? Yeah, what he said. Read it one more time. For the fashion of this world. Passive away. They say the fashion of this world passes away. So guess what? You are not absolved from the Old Testament to the New. If God come back, if Christ come back, and you wearing that effeminate dress, you done. You finished. The fashion of this world passes away, just like you will if you caught wearing it. The thing, Damn! The thing is, with everything we're talking about is yeah, on, on point. So with Cam and with Shannon, will you pull it back up? It's a, it's the same it's the same dress. Kevin Samuels touched on it about the black men, our culture. We don't we don't glorify. Play the song, y'all. We don't glorify like the uh, things of doctors, lawyers. They don't, we don't we don't go into that. As That's men, right. we right. glorify. As men, we glorify the rappers, the uh, entertainers, and the athletes. So we dress like that. We dress casually. We dress in in, in shoes, tennis shoes, jeans. Even with, with uh, Shannon Sharp hat on. So we stay in a mindset of that culture of we don't get past our 20s. You can pull that video up, uh, IT. Oh, let, let me finish the scripture. Right? Okay. Finish, finish first Corinthians 6 and 9 out, and then we, I'm going to be done. Because I, I, want, I want to say this, too, because a lot of times that you, you brothers and sisters, you see us getting on to these people. Keep reading the scripture. I'm just going to finish this out. You'll start at 10 or go back to 9? Uh, 10. Yes. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 10. Bring it out. Nor thieves, nor covetous, uh-huh. nor drunkards, uh-huh. nor revelers. This is whole list that we're going over. Keep reading. Nor extortioners uh-huh. shall inherit the kingdom of God. None of that list that we hold read in First Corinthians 6 and 9 and 10, you can't get the kingdom of God if you're doing these things. Keep, keep reading. And such were some of you. This is the point I wanted to get to also because in this truth, we come from all walks of life. And such were some of you read. But you're washed, but you're sanctified, uh-huh. but you're justified you, in the name of the Lord Jesus. You are washed, you are sanctified and justified in the name of your Lord, the Lord Jesus. That's because we came back and repented and keep God's commandments. Message. Because a lot of us was, was you might have not been a feminine, you might have not been a uh, whatever, but you might have been a thief. You might have been a, a, a covetous man, which is idolatry. But you turn from that. You turn from that, but see, in America, what happens is, and this is not our risk, is we get comfortable here. We want to stay here. So go ahead, I'll slap you. All praise to the Lord. We do. We get comfortable, assimilated, and everything like that. So y'all seen how uh, Cam would dress. And I'm not saying the brother, you know, just tacky or just, like, dingy. It's just we just like children. So I want to pull that video up, y'all, IT down there, uh, the Kevin Samuels video. It's about image. And, you know, we got to really – Dress our part. We don't. Dress. Our culture is uh, uh, Georgia shoes, whatever the latest jeans is, Levi's, True Religion, whatever it is. That's what we wear. Whatever the, your brand name, just whatever your brand is, we stay right there. Pants sagging. We just dress like children. Check this out. And other nations see us like that. That's how they. And that's how they deal with us. Check this out. You just play it from the beginning. He's going he gonna, he gonna to get to it. It's a short version. I'm going to tell you when to stop. Young black man, a black man wore different kinds of clothes and they see if people treated him differently. What's up, y'all? I'm Pedro. I'm 24, and like many black men, I'm extremely careful about what I choose to wear. Every day, we're dressing for survival. And basically, what it said is he did an experiment where I must perform the same activities in both weeks while dressing up. My shirt must be tucked in. I must wear a tie or a blazer. So we know, dress- we know. Obviously, we got to wear fringes in the border of blue and, not, and what we're talking about, our Israelite apparel. Understand That's right. that. That's our dress code. So he's saying when he went out and actually dressed, not like some rapper, actually dressed up like, I guess, an Esau's world presentable, but even <laughs> just, you know, taking care of yourself, nicely groomed and things like that, not dressing like a child. He showed the difference in his experiment. Play on. He finna, he finna so I wear it must it. be something I can comfortably sleep in. I will not expose my tattoos. I will not change my typical behaviors or act differently than I normally would. That's how he went around the first day. And this is what he said. My thoughts while I dressed up, I felt pretentious. This brother was dressed this way. And he said he felt, listen what he said now. I felt pretentious, uncomfortable and embarrassed, especially in a blazer. That's a damn shame. 
that black men have our images dropped so much to where men coming out of the house dressed like a man feels uncomfortable. That's the point. Pro- when you come out the house actually dress professional, because we live in this society. We have to, some men have corporate jobs. You got to play the part. So They're not going to hire you at certain jobs when you dress like a child. Unless you're an entertainer. Then Cam can get the job because he was a professional football player. Shannon Sharp. These rappers can get those type of things. But for the average Joe, like you that's listening, you got to dress professional. Message. You want to dress like a little boy. That's what he said. Our image has dropped so low we don't even dress like men. And that's our culture. Play. Inches. Because he, we no longer associate our image with anything other than something you can sleep in and roll out of your bed. That's on us. That's the I sister too my with wall. the bonnets on and all that old crap. Go ahead. Wow! Mute the piercing click clack of my shoes. My belt had to constantly be adjusted on top of it and these pants were giving me a wedgie. In other words, them dress shoes, them hard shoes. You know, when I say pull up, get rid of the Jordans. And put and pull up your pants and get rid of the Jordans. That's what this man is talking about. He felt uncomfortable dressing in the uniform of business. Why? What are his experiences? A woman who worked at 7 Eleven greeted me with a smile and instantly asked, What's this for? A, me- a meeting or interview? Or for, but she normally says, Meeting, interview, or court. So right. said it's for the work. The point is, when he dressed up and dressed presentable, People treated him differently. They greeted him with a smile. They gave him, you know, they were more courteous to him. And if you watch on, it's only a 10-minute video. When we watch on, if you ever watch it, when he dressed just casually, comfortably, just rolling out of bed, or dressing just however he felt, jogging pants, whatever, this and that, he said he got treated way differently. Way differently. But it goes to show... Uh, we as a society has adopted the culture of being in a state of a child, a boy. That's what, that's what Kevin said. Mr. Kevin Samuel said, when we dress like a man, we uncomfortable. Right. That's crazy. That became our culture. Jordans and all this other stuff. Hey, hey talk to Officer Yadaya about that, man. He got he might have some experience with some of this stuff, man. That brother Suave, he's really stylish. That brother get on. That brother do it, man. I know he over there sitting in the cut like, yeah. I'm gonna let him make it today. I'm gonna let him make Good point, bro. Good point. Good point. All praise. Hey, listen. Listen. I know. Go ahead. You finna say something? First Mac and Beast 14. Go ahead. Do your thing, bro. That's it. That's it. That's it. Because if somebody might be thinking, well, how do we dress back in the day? We got plenty of images of it, plenty of pictures on Instagram, on social media. How do we dress? First Mac and Beast 14 and 9. We the Israelites. But even if you, you know, in the professional world, of course, dress. Keep your fringes on underneath your underneath your suit, whatever. How you got to do it? Read that. Man, put them fringes on your suit coat and let them swing. The book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 14, verse 9. Read it out. The ancient men set it all, set all in the streets, communing together of good things. Come on. And a young man put on glorious and warlike apparel. They wore... Things of a warrior. That's how we dress in our day. When we was our fashion was the na- known thing of society. We dress like warriors. And a little boys, and a little, little children. Jordan's on. That's right. We look, man, we look funny now. The nations look at us and just shake their head and laugh. Like these look, these these dudes, these guys. Yeah. You can't take these guys serious. Even the colors that we choose to wear, like the pinks, the the pastel blue, Yay. and all this different orange, crazy colors instead of you know one word. That. <laughs> gay, gay, gay. We dress like some boys. Mm-hmm. Bruh, that's all I got, officer. All praise to the most high. Listen, man, I, I really wanted to, to get to this topic that we was going to talk about, but we're still in the emergency room, bro. We may not leave. We may just, we may have to, um, we may have to get some of this stuff for the next show, man, because um, we're on a time restraint today, and it's, pull up a video up. Pull this video up. I got this video. We still in the restaurant. These brother need, brothers and sisters need help. Play my song, man. Play the song for me. Play the song for me. Now, give me the other song. Is that the video there? Yeah, yeah, that's oh, it. That's my it. Lord. That's it. That's, it. that's it. Play the other song. The other song. See, listen. We dealing with some hopelessness right here. I'm telling some hopeless, like a penny with a hole in it, man. Listen, our people need the gum cure. Look at this garbage. Play it, bro. Play it. Play it. I can't even enunciate my words properly. 
You got an asymmetric. Anyway. <laughs> I don't think I had a back to school appointment that ever made me a until this one. So anyway, um, I was a kid. No way, boy. Do you know what's going on here? No I'm way. trying to figure it out. Listen, to figure ain't out. no way, boy. What's going on, Officer Hooker? Man, this is changing of kinds. What we seeing right here? That's exactly what we are seeing. Changing of <laughs> bro. Listen, that's why I say our, our people need the cure, man. We out here, and they they actually having a good time watching this transformation go on. Go ahead, play it, play it. This is first Wiggins ever, and he's going to ninth grade. Mom so it's hold on, hold on. It said he's going to ninth grade, and his mom is being so supportive. What happened to bullying, man? I'm sorry, you couldn't. Have, when I was in ninth grade, you couldn't have came in there as a young Check. man doing like this. He's comfortable. He know ain't nobody going to say nothing to him. The mama going to bust into school and be like, I, I wish you would say something to him. You know how these black women get about these little no, boys? No, to her. To her. No, I can't do it. I can't do it like that. Say. That's what she'll no, say. No, no. Can't lie. You know what I'm saying? Can't and that's lie like and, that. and they even saying that he is going to ninth grade and his mama. They know this is a boy. Right. Yeah. Damon. <laughs> play, play the video. I'll let you get something off the hook. I know you're ready. Oh, pray. Play the video. Supportive of him. And that's what like just made me like so emotional. It was just so good to see, you know, a parent supporting their child. Like, it was so beautiful. So we decided to surprise them with the final result. And here it goes. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. When I tell y'all his mom was in love, she was like, it was beautiful. She took her glasses off. We cried. We all cried. It was just so beautiful. Bruh. This Bruh. is sick. Bruh. There can be no man anywhere. It ain't. It ain't one in the room. You ain't seen that. Nah. You didn't see no. You didn't see no man in that room. Message. The hey, dude. The in dude, fact, the dude. Done. Was that the dude doing his hair? He, he he was doing his hair, and the dude that was doing the commentary. That was a dude. That was a trainee. He done. He done. He just done. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Go ahead, I'll see you who can done. I know. The hair, I'm sorry. The, the, the hairstylist was a dude. I don't know. That's I don't dude, know nothing. Yeah, I think that, that's, that's a dude, dude, man. That's a dude. I think that's a dude. That's a boy, Damon. Nowadays, you just really can't tell. Can't well, it's a boy that's, I mean, it's, that's it's a, a dude that's, that's been done boy, the same way. Yeah. Heard, yeah, he got his all. Oh, oh, damn, this is crazy. I don't even know what that is. And the sad thing is they they, they celebrating the end of their bloodline. Yep. They selling, they celebrating the end of their bloodline, and they happy about it. Cause ain't, he ain't having no babies. And I take it these two sisters is, the, is these two sisters that's watching dagger. him. Them some bull dagger. The they bull dagger. That's probably mama and the new the new girlfriend. Mm -hmm. yep. That's how they go. Bull dagger. Bull daggers. Go ahead, Stop Isaiah, it. Man. Hey, give me a, get some help. Hey, give me Isaiah chapter five and verse twenty. Because you no, know, the sad part about it. Look at the, the the joy and cheer from these people about this boy destroying himself, about him going against his God given nature to be a prince of the power of this earth. He changed himself from a, a, a god to a, a daughter of Zion, so to speak. But read that scripture. <laughs> the book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 20. Read it out. Woe unto them. They call evil good. So look at it. Look at the joy they got on them face. Go, go back to that image. Yeah. Look how they cheering this stuff on. This stuff here destroys our race. The hell is this? They smiling at the ultimate form of hatred for themselves to cut themselves off for reproducing naturally like God created. This is hatred. Read that, read that from the top one more time. Yes, sir. Woe unto them, they call evil good, and good evil. So they will call us evil for calling this thing out. Say, hey, stop letting that boy turn himself into a woman. Let that boy be a man. Let him grow up to be a man like God intended. But we say that today, they call that hate speech. But we try to make sure the will of God is enacted for our people. Read on. They put darkness for light. Darkness for light. It's nothing but darkness right here. Cause what's the light at? This here goes against God's commandments. Deuteronomy. They even got the scripture. Deuteronomy 23 and 17. There should be no whore for the daughters of Sarah, for the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. If that boy changed, what type of attention he going to attract? He going to attract sodomite attention. He going to further defile and destroy himself. Read on. And light for dark. Read. They put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. So, that's all I got because this is evil. This is destruction of the black man as we see it. And then the black woman, the ostrich, is cheering this thing on like it's okay. 
Shame on you. The enemy within. Enemy within. Give Romans 132. 132, just real quick to add to that. The book Is of Rome. Go ahead. Go ahead, yeah. The book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 32. Mm -hmm. Read it out. Who knowing the judgment of God? Who knowing the judgment of God? When you read up above this, it talks, a matter of fact, let's just get some context. One, one in, uh, I said contacts. Context. <laughs> one in 26 and 27, and then we're going to jump down to 132. Romans, chapter 1, verse 26. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affection. This is a vile affection. That's vile. That's evil. You understand that, Reed? For even their women. They change the natural use into that which is against nature. So the women change the natural use. Show them. Let's 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 make it real. Let's put the get take the words and put show the imagery. Put the video back up and show the woman the women that change the natural use in the video. You see them? Okay. Keep reading. And likewise, also the men. The who? The men. The who? Look at look what you said on the screen. The men did what? And likewise, also the men. Uh huh. Leaving the natural use of the woman. Read. Burning their lusts one toward another. What you don't realize is when a man wants to change himself from a man to a woman, that is only lust. Exactly. That's that evil concupiscence that officer was reading about earlier. That's that idolatry that he was talking about earlier, right? Finish that out and then jump to verse 32. Men with men working that which is unseemly. Uh -huh. and that, it don't go together. Unseemly means don't, it don't fit. It don't work right. Man. Them two parts don't go together. Male in and the male in, they don't, nah, they don't mesh. It's unseemly, read. And receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. But God says the recompense for your error, which was meat, there goes those diseases, there goes AIDS, and there goes all type of stuff that ramp it runs rampant in the black community. Now jump down to verse 32. Verse 32. Because they get mad when we bring this type of stuff out. But watch this. Who knowing the judgment of God? This is what God said. You know the judgment of God for these things. That's why you're upset every time it's being brought out, read. That they which commit such things are worthy of death. What are you worthy of? Death. At this point, they are setting that young man up to be, in God's eyes, worthy of death. Exactly. Watch this read. Not only do the same. Not only do they do the same. But have pleasure in them that do them. But have pleasure in them that do them. And that's what I wanted to tack onto that part right there. They think good, they call good evil and evil good. They have pleasure in those that set themselves up to do things that's going to get them killed, judged by the that's Lord. Right. Hey, I was right. You remember you had a song out one time. It was um, and spirits jump from house to house or something and like that. And they always, always change the face. face. They always change the face. See, this is this is the thing too. Um, when brothers or sisters deal with certain spirits, it's uh, I, I put it like this: It's a time when some people left IUIC, right? right? Why do we always seem to find each other? Mm. Why do they always seem to link up? Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Right. You, you ever notice that? And and certain spirits. Will link up. You like, how did this brother over here deal with? The they link up. The scripture said, given that on uh, Sirach chapter 13. Sirach chapter 13 and uh, verse verse 20, I think. No, verse um, verse 15. Yes. The book of Sirach chapter 13, verse 15. Uh huh. Read it out. Every beast, love of his life. So. We see now this young boy, he about to go out into the world dressed like this. Now, you think somebody ain't going to see him? Because the scripture says a man may be known by his looks, right? Right. Mm -hmm. he, he gonna, they going to see who he is. He going to trick somebody. He going he gonna, he gonna, he gonna to what? He going to trick somebody. He going to trick him. He going to nah. trick him. Bruh, I hope not. I <laughs> hope not. Cause see, that's how people get put to death, just like that. Right. Yeah. yeah. Get put yeah. to death, right. just like that. Message. Hey, you you know what? Let's just say this right quick. You know, you used sin is is they going from one sin to another sin to it's a never ending trend you used to have to be worried about the women going out there and laying around with every tom dick and harry nowadays tom dick and harry damn wait for it damn. <laughs> <laughs> hey listen hey, listen that, that, was a, that was a judah <laughs> proverb right there if y'all i hope y'all got it hey, yeah. if you did it wait for it. It was good. Oh, wait it was wait good. for it. Wait for it. Say it again, if I'm off. That's it. That's it. You ain't gonna say it no more. No, that's it. I, okay. That's yeah, he said, you got to pick up what he put he in. He said, wait for it. He said, wait for it. So I'll pray to the most high. Let's say again. Judah proverb. Judah. Hey, I'll read, hey, read the scripture, man. Go ahead to the scripture, bro. <laughs> every beast love of his light. Uh huh. And every man love of his neighbor. Every man loveth his neighbor. Keep reading. All flesh. All what? All flesh. Uh huh. Consort of according to kind. All flesh according to uh, do what? Co consort of 
According to kind. According to kind. I remember hanging out in my neighborhood. Uh, they had this dude named Paul White. He was an older dude. He used to drink all the time. Uh, he drank uh, uh, Old Milwaukee. <laughs> and, um, anyway, we used to hang out on his porch and do some wicked stuff. But he was an older man. And and it was the young people hanging on. He he always come out and say, "Hey, y'all catch up with your kind." He wants you, he want because you want his kind. You understand what I'm saying? He, right. he wanted his kind to be over there. Wanted you to go catch up with your kind. So, but anyway, read the script again, bro. All flesh can sort of according to kind. And it's amazing how these spirits tend to link up. How these spirits tend to link up. You just don't see red birds and blue birds. Now, see, it, it, even in the world. If you see a sister hanging with a whore sister, guess what that sister is? Oh, oh. It is what it spirit. is. Right. Red birds and blue birds don't hang together. Sure and don't. that's what you're going to see even dealing with this brother. He he already done, he already, something done happened to the brother already something for him to even want something like that. Right. Yeah. And now he's going to, like say, I was like, he either trick somebody or he's going to catch up with his kind. A lot, yeah. I was going to say, a lot of times, folks think they born like that, like, you know, I'm born like this. I always felt like I was a woman on the inside. I always felt like a woman may say, I always felt I, was, I wanted to be a boy. I wanted to be a man. No, nah, you wasn't born like that. You had maybe something happened in your life that altered your thinking and threw you off and made you go that way. It's something that made a person go that way. Right. You have to identify what made me go this way, accept it, deal with it, grow from it, get past it. I ain't saying it's going to be easy. And you got to understand what God called you to do. Ecclesiastes 7.29. Like, was at the, uh, the youth violence event that time, uh, this past week? And the young girl, I'll praise to the Most High for saving Sarah's daughters. That's a department we got called Saving Sarah's Daughters. And it's dealing with the women who had traumas and stuff like that. The women dealing with the women on how to overcome the traumas and things like that, biblical solutions. And it's all out there. But hearing it from a woman may help, you know, with the Saving Sarah's Daughters. And as that was speaking, you know, the, the sisters did a good job. And then a young girl got up to start rapping. It was, it was in, yeah, we was invited to an event. They wanted us to do the uh, youth violence, so we had to endure some of their stuff. But the young girl started rapping. Guess what? She was a dyke. We all saw it. And she could rap. She was nice, wasn't she? Well, you wasn't there, but she, you was there. She was pretty good. And in her rap song, she said, she said this along the lines of, I told my mama I was molested, but she didn't believe me. And she went on to say some other few things in her rap. And she was flowing, man. I'm telling you, she was flowing. But you can see, like, damn, our people got real-life issues and traumas. And in her rap, she said, I told my mama I was molested. She didn't believe me. Mm -hmm. How many cases out there like that? I know one personally. I went to school with a girl. She told me the same thing. It came out later, like, in, uh, she told, finally told me, like, in 12th grade. She said, hey, you know, I was molested. I told my parents they didn't believe me. And who was doing it, they wouldn't believe he, he was going to be the one that do it. So we grow up with these traumas, and some be promiscuous. They become whores because of that. Some become dykes because they want to deal with no man. And so, some, over some, and over. some become prostitutes. Some become yeah. prostitutes. Right. Go work yes. at a strip club. Yes. Yes. Read that thing real quick. I'm going to let you have it. No, no, no. Good, good stuff. So we got to understand, like, whatever that situation is, the cure is this. You wasn't born like that. Identify what God made you as. You're a man, you know you're a man. You're a woman, you know you're a woman. Read that scripture. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 29. Mm -hmm. Read it out. Lo, this only have I found, that God have made man upright. God made you upright. God made us upright. Read. But they have sought out many inventions. We as a nation here in Babylon have sought out many inventions, especially here in America. Many inventions being the changing the kind. How, you know, you get your rod cut off and change it into a, a JJ. What the hell is this? The, you sitting there getting ready for school. You go to the barber shop. Right. And with your daddy or your uncle or your cousin, and you getting your hair cut and you get for the first day of school. This little, he getting his hair done. Listen, hey. he, getting his, he getting extensions Listen, in hey. his you, head. You said something about getting your rod cut off and turning into a JJ. Now, you know that when they do that, they have to constantly go back and keep that open no, no, because no. it wants to close back up. It's an open it, wound. It wants to heal itself. Yes. Man. It wants to go back to what the most I created yeah. to be, yeah. but you want to keep it open. Right. That's some nasty. And it becomes a stinking wound. Dang. Mm. Yeah. That's some nasty. So the Lord made us upright. The Lord didn't make us. You wasn't born this way. You wasn't born that way. No, the Lord made you upright. 
you a man, damn it, be a man. If you're a woman, be a woman. And deal with whatever trauma that that is. Right. Well, listen, Go ahead. This, this, this whole episode is just... Um, Emergency room, y'all. Just, yeah, just, I think we, we figured that out. Yeah, yeah, we didn't chalk that up. Right yeah, now. yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say, in, in, in touching on what Austin Lad was saying, it's a meme that that I've been on uh, online, and it has a grandmother, a mother, and a son, and it says the grandmother said, "I don't need a man," the mama said, "I don't want a man." And the son said, "He don't want to be. I don't want to be a man. Damn, that's Damn. what we see. That's it. That is that's right. That's what we see that right there. That is right. It ain't, it ain't. It ain't like say. And the trauma is verbal. Yes. Cause what you see in that first video you showed, well, mama punched dad in the face, right, mm-hmm. and went home and started talking about daddy, right, mm-hmm. in front of the son, berating daddy, saying what men ain't shit." You, you you ain't no good like you no good daddy and all that type of stuff there and then guess what the, all his life this son been raised up from a from a toddler baby hearing man ain't no good man ain't no good well damn no no no, 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 no this, this is this is it also root your daddy ain't shit yeah. you look just like your daddy exactly so what that little boy think now I ain't yeah, shit. Yeah. 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 So so he don't want to be his he daddy now. Be a man so now all, now you got putting extensions in yeah. tracks in your head. Right. Yeah. This is yeah. it. That's the only way you go. That's the only way Mama gonna love me. Exactly. Right. You see, we see it. Right. You see how she, it's so beautiful. She was so supportive of him. Yes. So supportive. Right. The most masculine thing I've seen in my life is my mama. Yeah. That's it. And that's crazy. And so yeah, who I, I want to be? I want to be my mama. So. Damn. The problem, folks might say, well, y'all always talking about the problem. Y'all always talk about the problem. We pointing out the problem to identify it. The thing is, we have to know, okay, this is the problem. Where does it start? Right. It starts with, guess what? Single-ass women raising kids having hatred for the man. That's it. That's it. That's what they get us to. Single-ass women raising kids having hatred for the man. And before you say it, well, what if the man left me and all this and all that? Majority... You ran him off. Majority, you ran the man off. Message. Let's just be real. Whether you know it or not, that's right. Yep. Hey, listen. And this name of this show is Cure the Culture. And that's what we, that's what we on this thing to do. We are trying to cure this uh, uh, so called American culture that has um, really uh, invaded our invaded our people, and they take on this and they run with it. Yeah. So give me that in Psalms Psalms one hundred and seven, Psalm one hundred and seven, and um. Uh, I, I want to read 19 Read 19 and 20 19 and 20 Because we, we really got to understand that The only cure that we really have Is coming back and keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments We don't try everything else That weave in your hair ain't going to do nothing for you, bro You got to get your mind right <laughs> That's you know, it Go ahead, were you going to say something? No, we got to get our mind right You got to get your mind right, man The only way we're going to get our mind right Is to be renewed in the spirit of your mind And this That's is what does right. it It's got... Psalms 19, 7. Real simple script. Let's read some real simple scripture real fast. I know we're going to be out of here in a minute, but listen. you in the emergency room. Are we trying to cure this culture? I hope you want it. I hope you want it. Read that. You want 107 or 19? Give me Psalms 19, 7 real fast. Then we're going to go back. Yes. Psalms chapter one ni- chapter 19, verse 7. Uh-huh. Read it. The law of the Lord is perfect. The law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul. That's what converts you. Hold what you got. Acts three nineteen. These kind of run together for me. I don't. I don't know how y'all. I put it together in my mind this way. Acts three nineteen. Read that. The book of Acts chapter three verse nineteen. Uh huh. Repent ye therefore. Repent. Change your ways. Repent and do what? And be converted. And what? Be converted. It's the same word we're reading in um Psalms nineteen. Be converted. Read. That your sins may be blotted out. That's what we want our sins to be blotted out. That's the end of that. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Well, we, we want that refreshing. We need to be refreshed. We need that healing. So you got to be converted. Go back to Psalm 19 and 7. Yes. Psalm chapter 19, verse 7. We're going to find out what converts us. The law of the Lord is perfect, uh-huh. converting the soul. It converts your soul. Read. The testimony of the Lord is sure, uh-huh. making wise the simple. When we're not walking in God's law, statutes, and commandments, we simple as hell. We get punched in the face. All kind of uh, get taken by what's the name of what's the name of the stuff the um, deadly diet 
Dilla Diana? Dilla oh. Dilla Delilah. Dilla Delilah. Oh, okay. I'm thinking about Dirty Diana. Uh, Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty <laughs> Diana. Same, 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 same thing, eh? Exactly. Same spirit. Dirty Diana. Dilla Delilah. I'll pray to the Most High God, man. All right. Uh, what the name of the other woman? Annie, are you okay? Annie, are you okay? <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> And it didn't prove that dude got punched in the face. Oh, yeah. And are you okay? Actually, okay. actually, he okay. Yeah, he, he wasn't okay. He was not okay. <laughs> Damn. Damn. So uh, what you got? Uh, let's read that 19 and 7 again. Yes. Psalm chapter 19, verse 7. Uh -huh. The law of the Lord is perfect. That's perfect. Read. Converting the soul. Uh -huh. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Making wise the simple. Making wise the simple. We need to be wise. We need to come back and keep God's law. That's that's where our wisdom is at. In God's law, statutes, and commandments. That's what I said. Go to uh, Psalms 107. Yes. The book of Psalms, chapter 107, verse 19. Uh-huh. Then they, then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble. See, that's what we got to do. We really got to cry out unto the Lord in our trouble. We, we hear it. That's why he said in Hosea 5 and 15. I'm sorry. Go get it. Hosea 5.15. Bring it up. Hosea 5.15. Let's see, let's see what the Lord say. The book of Hosea, chapter 5, verse 15. Uh -huh. I will go uh -huh. and return to my place. That's what he said he's going to do. Going to go and return to his place. Read. Till they acknowledge their offense. Uh, like Officer Larry was saying, we got to see the problem. We got to see what your offense is. We got to acknowledge that thing. Listen, I was a whoremonger. You got to acknowledge that offense and then do what? And seek my face. Then you got to seek the most high's face. This is in his law, statutes, and commandments. Read. And, and then what? And their affliction. Why are you getting afflicted? What's going to happen? They will seek me early. That's what you got to do. That's what we got to do. Now go back to Psalms um, 107. Psalms chapter 107, verse 19. Uh -huh. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble. In their trouble, in their affliction. Read. And he saveth them what? out of. What are you going to do? And he saveth them out of their distresses. Read. He sent his word. He did what? He sent his word. He sent his word and what did it do? And healed them. And did what? Healed them. That's what we need. That's what we need. We need that healing. We need that cure. We got to cure our culture because the culture we're living in has been bred to, in us by America. Right. Any of y'all got anything else? Yeah, yeah. tight jeans. Go ahead, officer. You got to have tight jeans, uh, Jordans on, and stitch this in your hair. Yeah. Can we get a well, man dressed like that? That's man, they, they got like a dress code at Bucky's, ain't it? The dress code at Bucky's is, and I don't care what color it is. You know, <laughs> <laughs> they got BBLs, spandex, and a Brazilian silky hair weave. Damn, Damn. that's that's what they want at Buck. I'm talking about old ladies. I'm talking about grandmas. All of them. Right. Wow. Said Bucky's. Mm. That's, that's at Walmart too. You at Walmart? That's that what it is. That's that what. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hey, but what our people haven't looked at yet, what we haven't learned yet is that let's go to let's go to First Corinthians fifteen thirty-three. Because that's what all this is, is evil communication. That's what's going on. But our people don't I, we haven't figured that out yet. You know, we watching these uh just like this just like this 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 uh video they just just played right there with the turning him turning this boy into a, a girl. Uh that that's evil communication. Right. Esau is all for videos like that. He wants you to put those videos up there because he wants to communicate that to the next one. So somebody else is emboldened to do it. Right. So we can do it. the same way with the with the pants hanging off your behind. The same way with Cam Newton and uh, Shannon Sharp. That what they do sitting up there doing. They're getting paid to do that. Esau is paying them because he knows that communication is evil, and our people are gonna pick it up and go do the same thing. But what they missing is I want you to read this first. I'm gonna get one more script. Read that. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 33. Bring it out. Be not deceived. Evil communication. Corrupt good manners. So our people are deceived. They don't know that this is evil communication that they're putting in their spirits. And what happened? Because the law is spiritual. Let's get that one. Romans. Yes. 7 and 14. Let's get that. The book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 14. Uh -huh. Bring it out. For we know that the law is spiritual. Uh -huh. But I am carnal. Sold unto sin. So our people are sold unto sin. I'm speaking of Shannon Sharp now, you know, uh, uh, and, and Cam Newton. They sold unto sin. So they, they are, they're getting paid to communicate this to our people. Whether they know it or not, they know they're getting paid. I don't know how much they know about this, this, what they're actually doing, but we know, according to the Scriptures, exactly what they're doing. They're communicating this to our people, and our people are picking it up. And, and right, like, like I said, right now, we see them as... A lot of people see them as masculine, hard-hitting football players, right? Mm -hmm. But if they continue in this sin, there's a judgment for everything, right? The next thing you know, Cam Newton and, and Shannon Sharp 
will be Tom and Harry. <laughs> I thought you were going to Man. They, but they already is, I think. I right, think right. they already well, is. Well, I'm just yeah. saying, it's coming if it's not there. Yeah. It's there. They, right, they, yeah. You said they yeah. hard-hitting yeah. football players. Right. <laughs> they won't know what happened when the camera, when the camera cut off. Man, the both right. of them got on, uh, uh, what you call them things, um, Capri's. Capri's on. They got on the football pants. They well, wearing the football pants without yeah. the pads. Well, you know, they, they, got, they got images. Uh, Shannon Sharp's sexuality has been yeah, yeah, compromised. Yeah, they, they, they have images. Now, they don't know if it's his boyfriend or his son or whatever. Compromised. Compromised. But sitting on the on the sidelines of basketball games. Compromised. With a dude that's blatantly homosexual. You can see it. Ain't no denying it. And, but but so, so they yeah. already there. So I said, right, already already like What that? you said? I was over yeah. there. Red bird don't hang out with blue. They, they don't. They <laughs> don't hang together, man. I, I mean, I've never seen this go on. You know, yeah. when you, if you go by somebody uh, cutting a hayfield, uh, you, it's a bunch of white birds out there. Y'all seen them white birds out there? Yeah. yeah. They just hang out there. You don't see no um, blue jays out there with them. All right. You don't see no black birds hanging out with them. Birds they, of a feather. That's they right. They flock together. Birds out there. They cow flock cow together. But anyway, y'all got anything else before we get out of here, man? Nah. Hey, man, this is another edition of uh, uh, Cure the Culture, man. Listen, we just did the emergency room. Y'all cut this thing up, edit it, do what you got to do. We're going to bring it out. <laughs> Shalom, most high Christ bless. <laughs> <laughs> Men leading by example.